if you don't want to go any further in detail, I think I expanded quite a bit in terms, as I said, of cabinet's agreement for new fire station and you know, the funding come through NIS. You know, they had some uncertainty about where the funding would come from at first, but of course we are in a red IMF program. And clearly government, as you are aware, has to eliminate its debt and uh, you know pay off all the arrears that we owe various companies and citizens of Barbados. As you know, we have been doing that. And uh, therefore, that was an issue. But, you know, an arrangement has been made, and clearly, the Ministry of Home Affairs will now have to enter negotiations with the National Insurance Scheme on um, the finer details of it. I don't want to say a price tag yet, because, as I said, there's a few technical survey which will have to be done in terms of, you know, maybe approximate cost of the foundation, digging out, and those kind of issues. But clearly, as more details come tonight, we, we would inform you, you know, I try to be as transparent and accountable with the Barbados public through the media as possible. Could you give us an approximate timeline you know, As I said, you know, look, I've learned in, in government, even though you would like, like things done tomorrow, that isn't how it operates. Now you've come to understand that. I mean, clearly we have to vote to tender on all the professional services. The architectural, the engineering, the surveying, all of that. We will try to move as expeditiously as possible. Because we know the fire <coughs> services need a new station. They need to be centralized with the administrative uh, arm of the services. But I'm also now experienced enough to know that these things take time because you have to be accountable. There's certain rules which have to be complied with, as you 